After the Battle of Glentrill, Robert the Bruce split his forces to evade being followed by the English reinforcements of Aymar de Valence and John of Lorne, a kinsman to the murdered John Cummin, who were closing in on his much smaller force from both sides. John of Lorne happened to have with him a hound that had once belonged to Bruce, so he set the dog to follow its former master. When Robert discovered that this, his group was being followed, he ordered them to disperse and continued along with just his foster brother. Of course, the hound did not stop pursuing Robert as he made his way around the foot of Craignaw and in the direction of Ratloch Moor. Impatient to get his hands on Robert, John of Lorne sent five Highlanders on ahead to cut off Robert's progress. Being comfortable with the hilly terrain, the Highlanders caught up to the Bruce and his foster brother quickly, and the two men were forced to defend themselves against five. Bruce killed one immediately, while two attacked his foster brother. The remaining two dropped back, surprised by Robert's fierceness. He was, it is reputed, a great warrior, giving Robert time to kill one of the two attacking his foster brother. The other two rejoined the fight. Robert killed them and his foster brother dispatched the remaining man. But they were still being pursued by John of Lorne, his men and Robert's hound. After the fight, Robert was exhausted and his foster brother had to make him keep moving. They came to a burn which the foster brother had them walk in to wash away the scent that the hound was following. They staggered and stumbled along the burn bed, not daring to come out of the water even once, even when they were, there were deep pools to negotiate, until after many hours they were sure that their trail could no longer be followed by the hound. Now, they were coming close to Craig and Cali, where they were to rendezvous with the rest of Bruce's troops, Soaked to the skin and utterly exhausted, they found themselves in the company of three other men who were unknown to them. The men had a trussed up sheep, but were surprisingly well armed for shepherds. Robert was suspicious of them, but without the energy to call them out, they let the men continue with them. They spent the night in a ruined cottage, Robert and his foster brother at one end and the men with the sheep, now slaughtered, at the other. The Bruce and his companion accepted a leg of the sheep from the men, but they cooked it themselves on their own fire. Then Robert went to sleep while his foster brother was supposed to keep watch. But it had been a long and gruelling day and the foster brother fell asleep. Robert was woken by the sound of swords being drawn Perhaps his long experience as a soldier saved him. He was instantly on his feet, drawing his own sword. He tried to wake his foster brother, but the younger man was slow to wake and was killed. Robert, as we've mentioned already, was not bad at fighting, so even though the other men had the advantage over them, he killed all three, then buried the body of his young foster brother. After this, he made his way to Craig and Callie.